Hi friends, this is Fire on Pop, and today we're going to talk about gun-free zones. Now, um, I don't want to go into a rant. I don't want to go um, go crazy on this. Everybody and their mother is doing a video on this Aurora, Denver, uh, uh, Aurora, California, Colorado. I'm sorry, uh, shooting. Now, um, seems to me that all these are happening in gun-free zones. So let's take a look at just where some gun-free zones have been, okay? Yes, Aurora, Colorado, uh, a gun-free zone in all those movie theaters. No one allowed to carry. Columbine, gun-free zone. No one allowed to car carry in that school. Virginia Tech, Arkansas State, Northern Illinois University, Louisiana Tech, University of Memphis, Delaware State University, twice. South Mountain Co Community College, University of Iowa, San Diego State, Appalachian School of Law, University of Arizona, Shepherd University, Bard College, Case Western Reserve University, Penn State, Fairleigh Dickinson University, University of Central Arkansas, and University of Alabama at Huntsville. Just to mention a few, and those are mostly at schools. Um, Others come to mind as well, um, of course, Columbine, the Fort Hood Massacre. So, uh, gun-free zones, even though those are all military at uh, Fort Hood, uh, no one was allowed to carry uh, live ammo or live gun on the premises. Except who? Except those who don't follow the law to, be, to begin with. So, <laughs> the question begs, begs to, to be asked, uh, if you see a gun-free zone, do you go? Do you leave your gun at home? Do you go there and become a sitting duck? Uh, personally, if some place, the only places I go to that I have to go to that are gun-free zones are uh, my local police station when I have to add a, a weapon to my permit. Uh, I must go in person to the, uh, to the police station, so I have to leave my gun locked in the car. Uh, any other time, uh, the only other place that I would have to go to is a court. If I was called to court, any government building, uh, it must leave. No weapons allowed. They are gun-free zones. But other than that, if it's a gun-free zone and I can't carry my gun, I don't go. Okay? I refuse to be a sitting duck. That's the reason I, I, I got my CCW is I refuse to be a victim. Um, so, I will use every method at my disposal to protect my myself and my loved ones. Um, hope this is just some food for thought and, and take this and, and do something with it. Um, you need to spread the word. When people start talking about this and start talking about negative about uh, gun ownership, just remind them that all these have taken place in gun-free zones. And uh, if there was someone in that theater with a weapon and was trained on how to use it, one or two well-placed shots could have taken this, this idiot down. Um, if they couldn't get him in the face because he's only wearing a gas mask, uh, even hitting him in the chest and the body armor would have... Uh, Put him on his rear end. Uh, enough time for people to leave and for you to focus on a second headshot. So uh, I, I just, you know, I, the body armor didn't scare me because um, anything 380 and above would have uh, made him stop and uh, and we could have saved lives and saved injuries. And of course, uh, my heart and uh, prayers go out to the family, friends. And those injured at uh, Aurora, uh, I, I, I neglected to mention that in the beginning of this video, and I'll mention that now. Uh, uh, what a sad, sad state of affairs. Anyway, please help and spread the word that these were gun-free zones, and that's where these idiots feel uh, emboldened that no one will re retaliate. This is Fire on Pop.
Be safe out there and spread the word. God bless. Bye now. This is Fire on Pop and I approve of this message.